Hello and welcome to a technical preview of Akoda's Duty. This is the successor to No Man's Land. I made this one kind of on my own, but it was also used for a class called Cross Platform Development. I took the original concept of No Man's Land and I evolved it for use on iOS and Android. As I didn't have an Android at the time, I only used iOS testing, but it should work for both now because I've edited it since. As there's not much gameplay, I'm going to go through a short gameplay first and just explain pretty much the differences between this and No Man's Land. Okay, for starters, I redid the menus. The old menus were created by someone else. I redid the menus. I did all the artwork in the menus and redid everything myself. So, I don't think there's anything in options yet. No, they're still using the old shit. Also, this is character customization. It's also not there, but it's it's there for the future. Exit, exit, like you would expect. I'm not going to show that. All the chapters are set up, different colors, different chapters. Once they're actually complete, if I choose to make them in the future. I'm not sure if this will turn into a full game or not. I was planning to make it a complete game, but I kind of want to branch off into other ideas. Like, I made this during class from, it was, it was last year, schoolwork. I know I could do so much better now if I wanted to do an idea. I still like the idea behind this and the work I've put in, but I feel like I might be better off trying to go in a new direction with something more challenging. But anyway, we'll click a chapter. None of these other chapters should work right now. They let you go into them, but that's just because I didn't seal them off because no one else has the game. So all this stuff still works, even though you sh it shouldn't work yet. Anyway, level one. It's pretty much the same as the one from No Man's Land. <coughs> it's just a simple level. Except all you do is jump and you're up there. Go through the portal and you're good. <coughs> now this level teaches you how to grow like the previous one. There's no chat dialogue set up yet. There really should be but I was fiddling around with making the chat pop up when it's needed not all the time. Also as you can notice, I changed the character a lot. I wanted to use my own characters and animations instead of the ones that were either open source or created by other students from the previous class. <coughs> so as this class was solo, I redid everything from No Man's Land into this one. I also changed the height differences between growing. Like before, you could see the top of the jump when you are up there, and it was easy to tell the you had to grow. Now it's not so much. Also it's good to note that the death symbol and the hourglass are still from the old project. I hadn't made my own of them yet. But let's grow and you'll notice the difference immediately. Like The size difference is way bigger than it used to be. I feel it's more fun grow going from incredibly small to huge with just a few presses of a button into the portal and that is the end of the gameplay like I said there's not much yet it was just testing it and playing the whole point of this class was actually the iOS and Android functionality <coughs> so what I have here is the main menu it's just the main menu like you can guess except you notice a few extra icons here well, the thing is, for iOS and Android, it was planned that there was a store where you would pay to unlock additional chapters. Like, the game itself would be free, you pay to unlock bonus content. This would not be the main story of the game, this would be extra story added on afterwards. So you'd still get the normal story for free, but the extra story you'd get later. <coughs> So that was planned. Also the PC and Mac versions were planned to cost a fee on Steam or some other storefront. It would be a small fee though, so it's not like 
that big, but it would pretty much, if you pay on the store for the PC or Mac version, you get the whole game, including all future content, straight away. Like, you don't have to pay any extra when future content comes out. But the phone version or tablet version, you pay later for the bonus content, but you get the base stuff for free. So, it really depends on how you wanted to play it. Anyway, let's get into this. <coughs> okay, for starters, we have the main menu you can see now. It's just simple main menu. It changes depending on if you are in iOS or Windows. Pretty much it changes depending on what you're in. I can't r this was a year ago, so I have no idea half of the stuff anymore. Like, I can understand what everything is, but I haven't touched a lot of this for ages, so... <laughs> I need to relearn it all, and I'm not cutting this either, so <laughs> bear with me for a second. Now, okay, let's have a look here. I'm trying to work out how I hid and show the different things. I can't quite remember. Like, I'm guessing it's in the main menu code so let's have a look and see if I can find that might be this <coughs> oh, I got open up this real quick anyway bear with me for a bit while I open up various codes have a look okay this is the script that I add to different things to decide if it should be shown on PC or not. So if it's PC, these get shown. If it's not PC, they get hidden. That's pretty much it. PC shown, else hidden. And that is just it, really. So these will get given to various things. Like, where is it? I have to find it though. Okay. I think it might be on. Hang on, I might be clicking the wrong thing. Okay, these are the phone and tablet prefabs. So the script is actually on the whole prefab. So they disappear if it is not a phone or tablet. And they come back if it is phone or tablet. Whereas this PC one is shown if it's PC only, not if it's mobile. So that's how the touch is added to that. They just add extra features. Anyway, let's move on to the actual level so I can show you the difference between the HUDs. I just have to find out where my levels are. Okay, here we go. So, World 1. These might be the old ones. Not they're the right ones. Okay. <coughs> This one doesn't have a HUD, so let's move to the next one. Okay, here's the HUD. Here's your restart button. You click that, restart the level. Because you don't have a keyboard on iOS, you have to click stuff to move. Or, or touch stuff to move and do stuff. So, you click this R, that restarts your character. Also, you have these buttons here, grow and shrink. You can also click those to grow and shrink. Let me fix my screen up real quick. Hang on. You need to be able to see stuff clearly. Okay, that is better. So, grow and shrink. That's pretty much it. Just tap for them and you grow and shrink if you have enough of these. Jump button's over here. It's set up so you can hold your phone horizontally and your left hand controls left and right and restart. Your right hand controls jump, grow and shrink. So it's easy to move and jump at the same time. Otherwise, if jump was on the left side you would have trouble trying to move and jump at the same time 
but I really wanted to make it so you can move and jump at the same time so you can get the angles just as well as you would expect if you're on a PC. So, because I'm on a PC, those disappear and they're not here anymore at all. But let's see here if I come back to my code. I need to find my code real quick. I'm not sure which one it's in there. <coughs> okay, I'm pretty sure these use the same script, but let's just check. Okay, they're using a different script. Yeah, they're not getting hidden the same way. Maybe, actually, it might be under touch controls. So, where is the touch control script? Right here. So, let's say... Let's say that I don't want it to be touch controls. Like, I want the touch controls to be active all the time, not just if it's on iPhone. Well, I have to change this to let it work. So, what I will do here, I will get rid of, I'll comment these out temporarily so you can see just save it back to unity now if I play this level they should be visible and they should work if I did it correctly yeah they're kind of visible but they don't work yet oh they kind of work but because I'm not running in an exe and I didn't completely change it properly it's not gonna show up but yeah the controls aren't working over here but jump and everything else should work so, if you're on an Android or iOS or whatever other type of device other than Windows, Mac or Unity standalone, all this will work normally as it's intended. Or this might just be an old version and I've moved everything and fixed everything in the future version. I'm not really sure which version <laughs> it is, honestly. But that is essentially the difference is it just checks if it's standalone web player I'm pretty sure I actually had Windows and Mac in that in the other version of this I'm not sure why this isn't updated to that but I'm pretty sure that was on the other version now all these sprites and animations and blocks in all everything in this game all the artwork apart from the skull the hourglass and some of the menu stuff that was left over from the old project is all created by me like I made all of that in paint.net I did some in some other programs as well just to get the right feel but the majority of it was paint.net a lot of these scripts are still carried over, like I haven't deleted anything really. Everything's still here. So I, I haven't added, added enemies. This whole class was just revolved around make a game that works on a different platform like iOS, Android, just something that's not Windows or Mac. So that is what I did with this. And this was enough to pass the subject, just making it so that the buttons worked, the hard work it changed that was just enough to pass the class what I had planned for this is to make it more detailed but due to lack of time and I had more classes and more projects I had to do so I just never continued this and I'm not really sure if I want to continue it or not like there's so much stuff I've done but I don't really know if I want to keep going and I'm pretty sure these are just all the old levels, yeah. Go back to yeah. So 
Yeah, this is just the old stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it really. There's not that much else here, like these buttons are old. I did the chapter select, that was good. I want a proper world select too, but I might just leave it like this. Depends. There'll probably be a level s nah, there is a level select, that's haven't this level select will change and be prettier. It's still the old level select from the old game. It's not even that good. But I'll probably have a more visual level select. If I did continue this game, I would like to try and hire an artist or something along those lines. Because I do want better art and animation to my game. I might even want to go 3D at some point. But 2D is all I can manage right now. I don't have enough artistic skills to handle proper 3D right now. I can't even model correctly, so I still need to learn all that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I did redo a lot of the player. Like I said, it's not completely changed, but I did change it a bit. I also redid stuff like... I'm pretty sure I redid the game manager. Yeah, I redid the game manager. I also added things like door handlers, I did a level manager, like all the levels are set up and ready to go, I just haven't done them, like <laughs> it's literally all here, like chapter 1, chapter 2, everything's there ready to go, Re pretty much most of the stuff I need to do now is just add levels and create extra stuff like monsters and Stuff like that. I got my item manager. Like this one actually has the red and blue keys prepared. There's also soul fragments added to the game now. You pick them up and they're like a collectible. They add some s points to the game and something for you to go and gather. It's just something that helps you. Depending on your soul fragments, you'll get different endings. You'll also unlock special levels. So I made all this myself. Like, instead of making the levels, I mostly, f for this version, I mostly focused on getting the back end correct, rather than making content and levels, so, there's not too much to show off, that's why, I, like, instead of gaining levels from No Man's Land, I lost a bunch of levels, because I spent a ton of time just focusing on setting up all these managers and getting everything the way I wanted it to. I did so much with that. I think this is just the same as the old one. No, maybe. I don't know. <coughs> but yeah, I changed a lot of stuff with the code and made it so that I could easily add to it without stressing too much in the future. <coughs> That's what I like to do, is I like to prepare for the future rather than just throwing stuff together that works or potentially works. I like to make sure that it doesn't just work now, it also works for what I may add in the future. So, I like having a good item manager that I can just change a few lines and it will work with as many different types of items I want. <coughs> also an audio manager, but that's not functional because I've got no audio yet, apart from just basic music and stuff. Parallax is still the same, I obviously never changed that. Menu scripts, um, I'm pretty sure that's the same too. I'm not sure what else has changed really, I haven't looked at this for ages. Standard assets are oh, just basic stuff. Um, let's see what else we can find. <coughs> okay, let's check sprites. Yeah, as you can see, these are the sprites for the main level and various stuff. That's still not stuff I'm using. Did I change the player? Nope. I must have put it as coder or something player cube, okay, I didn't even name it Coda, which is his name, that sucks, but let's have a look at the animations that I made, because why not, it should just be player still, not sure which one, yeah this one, okay, here we go, let's make this big so you guys can see it again, okay, can I move it all, okay, let's start, this is def, fades out and explodes turns into pixels back to where it became where back to where it came from 
Okay, and then we got the idle. Just bops up and down. <laughs> idle jump. I idle jump. Just crouches down and jumps up. You can't really tell here. Like I showed in the No Man's Land technical preview, they don't look as good unless you're actually using them. <coughs> yeah. um, respawn is the reverse of the death. You go from pixels to being back to normal. And the run is just pretty much you slide and hop up and down slightly. <laughs> That's essentially it. I'll give a quick preview of that just so you can see different animations as I'm saying. Death doesn't work though, obviously. But here we go. Let's wait for the game to start up. Come on, game. Start up. Don't let me down. Do I have to click here? gonna make me go back to the main menu, damn it. Okay, let's go back. See, main menu. Okay, <coughs> here we go. Um, I'll go to this one. Here. Yep, okay, whatever, one. Okay, got, run forward, like I said. Just hops up and down, leans forward so it looks like it's moving. Jump, just crouches and jumps and leans forward. I don't know if I actually used the jump. I think I didn't like it because it bent down and then jumped. I don't think I like that. If I press R, no, it doesn't kill me. Damn it. I think if I jump up here, you can see it. Nope. Okay. Worth try. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Run. If you just stay still, it just idles like you would expect. And that's just the extent of the animations I've made so far. Made all those myself, like I mentioned. I wanted to add clothes, that's what the um, customization was for. I wanted to add stuff like clothes, maybe different types of skins. Some of them might be special and unlock different worlds. Like, or different looks for the world, not different worlds. Like, maybe if you're a squirrel or something, you have a forest environment. Maybe the story changes slightly depending on what type of character you are, like different lines I said. There's a lot of stuff I've wanted to do but like I said I'm not really sure anymore. <laughs> um I don't know why that's there. All this stuff is probably just from the base unity stuff. I think that's it actually. Yeah, everything's the same pretty much, just that's the basic game that is a coder's duty you can probably guess what I was thinking with this I just wanted to finish the class I prepared it so I can use it in the future if I decided to I did heaps of the back end just so I could use it so it's a lot of just level design and creating extra stuff to go with the level design like monsters switches moving platforms, all types of stuff that just goes with general level design. But yeah, if you do want me to go ahead with this game, like you're probably here just to hear me talk about the technical stuff, but if you do want me to go ahead with this game, leave like a comment or something and say if you want me to go ahead with the game or not. Like, if I get a lot of interest, I'll know that people actually want to see it and I'll probably make it, but if I don't get much interest, like that's fine too I'll just work on other projects and maybe do this one in the future when I have more skills make it 3D and so on but if a lot of people do want to see it I'll probably like try and release it it won't be right away because I do want to make it good I'm not just gonna release something that I've just rushed I'm gonna take my time and make sure it's what people actually want to play like <laughs> I don't like making shitty products that even I wouldn't want to play. I like making stuff that I enjoy making and people will enjoy to play. So, that is it for a coder's duty technical preview. Like I said, there's not going to be a gameplay preview because 
there is no gameplay. It's like short as hell. Like, I don't think you'd want to watch one minute of gameplay preview. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed watching anyway, and I will see you in the next video.